Want to make money fast? In this video, we're using AI to spot a real market need and sell a product all without any inventory. The goal is to do this within seven days and prove out a niche with less than $50. And we're going to be using some innovative platforms that you may not have heard of yet. Because in order to accomplish this, we're going to be using a platform called TeamDrop. And TeamDrop essentially is drop shipping on steroids. This means that you no longer have to wait for the products to arrive from a factory in China to your customers. TeamDrop actually helps you source from legit manufacturers such as 1688 and Tabao, and they actually bring everything into their warehouse, which allows you to ship all of your products from one location directly to your customers on the stores that you're selling. We usually begin by doing market research into your customer, but since this is a drop ship model, we're gonna kind of twist it around a little bit. We're gonna look at market demand for products that we are actually interested in that we could build a brand off of. So to do that, we're gonna come in over here and actually start with an analytical tool. Now this analytical tool will essentially give us real data from sales happening on TikTok shop. And there's other analytical tools that'll give us Amazon and even Shopify store data. One of the things I was really seeing on TikTok was uh, creatine gummies. And as you guys can see within this graph, it's growing in the market. So it was pretty dead in terms of interest in 22. <clears throat> but as we get into 24, it started to really pick up in terms of search volume. This tells you that people are looking for creatine gummies or more information on it. So I think this product, if it continues to go in this direction, it'll continue to grow, which is a product that's worth looking into. Call me Mr. Creatine. Mama made it. But before we proceed, I think it's also important to take a look at what ads and marketing certain companies are doing. So in this example, this brand here has a couple of different affiliates. They're doing around 100 grand with just one product. They're selling an average of 135 units a day. And they're bringing in a good amount through their videos. So you can actually start to do research on the creators. So these are the type of influencers you can connect with. 17K following. So he'd be a great person to potentially reach out to, but since he's got this partnership with this brand, maybe it won't be the best fit, but at least we know the type of content that works. Now that I identified a potential product, the next step that we're gonna take is actually go to TeamDrop. And what I did is I screenshotted the product that I found on TikTok and it came out with a couple of different options here for us. This creatine gummy is selling for about $2.80. This one's doing $4.20. But as we dive into it, it seems like a pretty good deal. I mean, $2.81 when you can resell it for $25 or $30. Seems like a really good profit. But before we proceed in doing more research and going down the rabbit hole of launching this style of brand, the next thing we wanna do is actually see what's happening in the creatine gummy market. And I came up with a couple of different articles and one of them that stood out to me is the creatine bummies you bought online might not contain any creatine. This article in particular said that they tested the best selling brands on Amazon, tested the levels and it wasn't anywhere near the stated levels. So that tells me that there are a lot of people that are legit doing this, this model. They're building great businesses and brands, selling a couple million or hundreds of thousands, making good money. But at the end of the day, it's not doing anything for the customer. This is one of those products I wouldn't necessarily feel really good about selling. You don't wanna just launch a product, make some money, and then people say that you scammed them. Don't do that with drop shipping. it happens all the time. We're not gonna proceed with the gummies. And I think we gotta tell Yasir that not a good plan. Mama made it. Hey bro, huh? gotta break something to you, man. Chances are this is actually not a legit product that you can make money on because what? there's a lot of reports coming out that it's actually a scam. It's all good, we just gotta go back to the drawing board, right? Let's get it. <laughs> I was so close. All right, so that leads us into the next product. You gotta keep thinking about products that come into mind. And we're gonna be diving into the next rabbit hole, but these are just some of the things that you gotta consider as you start to source. 
So after a couple of hours of searching for potentials, I landed on this product. So this product here seems to have really good margins. It sells anywhere from like around $2. What's really cool about Team Drop is that you can reach out to suppliers actually from their product page and you can send them a message or a WhatsApp. And by doing that, you're able to verify information for them, such as quality, turnaround times, is it in stock and they send you a sample. But then they also have a very easy way to just start listing that product to the store and it automatically just starts importing it into your profile and you can start selling it. I'm gonna reach out to get some samples, but in the meantime, we're also gonna start the marketing around it. But in order for this to have a chance of success, we're gonna need to choose a name and it can't be random. So let's begin with some research. Now, one thing to keep in mind when it comes to products is obviously the price that you can get them at. Do you have enough margins to make a profit? With this one, it seems that there's more than enough profit potential there, but is it a growing demand? What we're going to do is we're actually going to go over to Google Trends. So it was pretty much non-existent up until April 2024. 2020 had the highest peak. I guess you can probably guess why 2020 was the highest peak. More people working from home. They felt their eye strain. Dies down in the summer. Picks up again for January, December, January. You can see the seasonality of a product. We are in season. We're coming into the end of the year. It's a good opportunity to launch it. So the next thing I wanna do is actually look at the branding and the marketing and the direction of it. And to begin, it's really important to understand the market as a whole. And then from that, what is the market that we may be attracting? So one of the things that will get us out of that will be just asking ChatGPT and workshopping it. And I also wanna put it into Claude and then also into Google's AI. I just wanna see what the three pretty much give us. Now that we understand exactly who we're marketing to, from that we can actually create the real brand name that will resonate with that. So based on this, there's obviously multiple personas and depending on the one that we wanna reach, we're gonna position this product differently. Each of them have a different purpose and reason for why they buy this product. Gamer is less concerned with the professional aesthetic and more products that feature specialized capabilities. Wellness focused individual, this is somebody motivated by a holistic approach. Every single one of these are a little different and you gotta think about the core reasons why they would buy that product. I asked for the product and marketing recommendations and the reason I did that is to figure out what pain points we're trying to solve. Based on our research, we saw that some of the top performing brands were selling based on performance and features. Now this is something that unfortunately you can't replicate with just on demand and dropship products. So we're gonna be competing on price and style. The more we research it, the more the need of a specific product there is. So this is more of a specific product need versus a brand and that's okay. That's what drop shipping's all about. It's about finding a need and a demand and getting them the best prices while you getting that markup. And once we decided on the direction, we prompted ChatGPT to start coming up with names that would vibe with this market. And with that, we finally came up with the name. Now that we got a name for the brand, the next part is to actually put it together. So I went to ChatGPT and just asked him, what are some trending you know, brands like Seek, who I feel is a very Gen Z millennial market? what are some brands like it that we can look as reference. And as we were looking at the logo, um, I asked it to actually just put the collage of all the logos of those brands. This helps us fine tune either fonts or potential branding elements that we may want to include in ours. You know, White Fox is a little bit more bold. The one that really stands out to me is Mad Happy and Seek. It just looks a little bit cleaner. What I did is I went through and I just started to put them all into this Milla note here. Put together a couple things that stood out to me. Seek has like some very colorful palettes. I think this resonates really well with the female demographic. I found this from Cactus Plant Flea Market. I really like their overall website design. Pretty much gonna do this for a couple other brands and just kind of pull from inspo until we develop something that's ours. And now, you know, just based on this, ChatGPT, what do you feel is a logo for the brand? And this is what it gave me. And honestly, it's not bad. <laughs> It's good enough as a placeholder for us to continue because again, this is seven days to prove out a new product category or a new business. It's not necessarily about fully developing the brand, but you need to have the assets in place to make it look legit. And this gets us closer. And the next thing I wanna do is really hone in on the color palette. I wanted something a little bit more electric, blue, yellow, and I'm really happy with what ChatGPT gave us right here. 
So we're gonna go through and just put that into our Milla Note to just be our guiding star in what we're designing. Now that we have a pretty good understanding about the brand and the direction and design, the next part of this is to really hone in on the target avatar. Now this is the key foundational element that you need to have if you're launching a brand because without it, you're gonna be shooting in the dark in terms of what you should be doing for your marketing and how you should be messaging to attract new customers. So how do you go about finding this out? Well, I wanna show you guys a little story and through this story, help you understand how you can come up with your own target avatar and really hone in on that to be able to sell them anything that you want. This little uh, AI representation here that we're showing you on screen right now is actually a story of me. So to illustrate how you find out a target avatar and the level of detail that you need to know, you really have to hone in on their entire story and upbringing. So growing up in LA, it was me and my brother living out of a garage with my mom and dad. It wasn't until I started to grow up and uh, grow up in a one bedroom apartment with five people living in it uh, that I started to understand a little bit more about what life is, right? Around five or six. That that's when I took a trip out to Mexico and I learned that my parents were farmers. And uh, the reason that he went to America was because farming didn't pay enough to sustain a family. So for me, it was the first time I got to see out of my home and I got to really value the time that I got to spend in my town of Mexico. Coming back from the trip, I was literally just writing down business ideas. I saw entrepreneurship in real time. I saw how the person that was selling the Elotero would then sell it to the store owner, which would then sell it to the customer, which was my parents buying it at their store. So I went home and I started jotting down all these ideas, all of these business concepts, and that always stuck with me through life. Growing up, I was also really into movies like Top Gun, Inception, and all the entrepreneurship movies that you see today. So why is this something that you should keep in mind? Well, because your customer, your target avatar has a story and has a background. The more you understand what makes that person who they are today, the better you can message and actually advertise and market to them. From that, you need to start compiling key information. And the key information is demographic information, psychographic information, and pain points and challenges that they have. But you also need to expand beyond that just a little bit and dive into goals and desires that those customers have. And more importantly, you need to understand how they buy. What is their budget, right? How much budget sensitivity do they have? And more importantly, the message messaging and triggers that you have. With all of this information, you then put together essentially your final avatar statement. Right? And this statement is essentially gonna be your guiding star in everything that you do within your marketing and within your brand. So I hope that this little lesson here just kind of shines a little bit about the level of detail you should be thinking about. And with this information now on hand, even though we don't have the product photography yet, we're gonna start building out the site. Okay, and now that we have the brand and some of the design elements, we're gonna launch this store in order to connect it to TeamDrop. Now, the platform I recommend you guys use is Shopify, and we included a link in the description right down below for you guys to get started. On Shopify, all you gotta do is sign up. It's free to start, but it's also a dollar if you wanna book that, but you can just skip it. So answer it a couple questions. It'll set up your dashboard. So now that we are here, we're gonna log into our TeamDrop account. Now, once you go to TeamDrop, you have a dashboard, which we showed you is how we're sourcing product. But from that, we're going to go in and actually connect our store. So we're going to hit authorize store. We're going to add a store from here. It's actually pretty simple. Just hit on Shopify, authorize and install this app. It'll ask for information you need to give it access to. And then from that, your store is now added. So now we get to play around with how we get to actually publish them to the store. Okay, now in order to list products from TeamDrop, we're gonna go over here and grab our blue light glasses that we sourced. And uh, you can see estimated shipping time and fee. So you can list this to store. We got our store and you can change up your pricing. So your total price is here your listing price. What it's doing right now is actually taking the team drop and importing it into your Shopify store. So if we go in here, we now have these products right on our store. So you could preview how that'll look on your checkout. From that, it's just about setting up the website and launching it. So it's literally that quick to start something, right? They they carry the stock, they ship it out for you, and all you gotta do is do the marketing and branding. Gonna launch this a lot sooner than we think. So we're gonna start by downloading some of the images just from the team drop, I screenshotted some of their photography for these glasses in order to generate some of the mockups that we can use on the site. Then I go to Creatify, which is a platform that actually helps you enhance a lot of your ads, whether it's image ads that are static or you're doing some video ads with things in motion. Creatify gives you a great opportunity and tool to really bring these to life. You could put a product 
photo into it and then you can ask it to do something specific with it. I asked it to do a little panning motion to show some of the details of it. Look, beautiful. This is a way for you to prove out what you're doing, right? So do people actually want what you have to offer? Are you hitting the right market at the right price? So now that we got a couple of the creatives ready for the website, as well as some of the social images for TikTok, we are now going to start building out the store. Earlier, we connected Shopify to Team Drop, which meant that we were now able to drop ship. But in order for people to buy, it needs to look like a legit storefront. So we're going to have to enhance the logo that we got from ChatGPT. Now, Kittle actually allows us to take this PNG and vectorize it in order to create a really solid graphic. From that, we can then use a built-in AI tool to actually enhance this logo. So I decided that I wanted the logo to actually have an outline to really make it pop against the website as well as packaging. Next, I wanted to create some banners and some marketing materials. And by using the Kittle Smart Board feature here, we're actually able to create creative assets using only a prompt. Now, the goal to really make this come out good is to find inspo on the brands that are in the space that you're in. Then, I recommend you take a screenshot of the images that you like, put that into ChatGPT, and have it give you prompts in a similar style, which you could just copy and paste into Kittle Smart Board prompting. And within seconds, you're now building the visuals that literally show this product being used in a real life scenario. Now this went from a screenshot on Team Drop's website to a lifestyle image that you can now put on your site. The goal is to help paint a picture in your customer's mind to really show them how they're gonna look by wearing your product. The more they can relate, the better you're gonna be able to convert. And lastly, we'll crop the images and download them in order to upload them to our Shopify store. And with the final design of the website completed, we are now ready to launch this store. Now, one of the things when it comes to using AI and comes to doing this process, it honestly is time intensive. So just lay the foundation, have a guiding star, and then kind of shoot and base it off of the research that you conducted. Because AI can give you all these ideas, but unless you know exactly where you're going, you're gonna create a bunch of AI slop. So now that we have this foundational element all completed, the next part is to not just sell on Shopify, but also expand into shops. And more importantly, one of the most underserved and highest growing markets is TikTok shop. So in order to get a piece of that pie, you do need to connect it to your Shopify store. And you also need to actually put in the grunt work of establishing your profile. What does that mean? That means you need to have samples on hand and you need to have the product on hand and you need to be ready to create TikToks and videos in order to promote what it is you're selling. By doing that and sharing your story authentically, you're now able to create traction, viewership, and comments and interactions, and more importantly, build followers for your brand. And as you do that, it has now become a little bit easier for you to attract affiliates, which is really what powers TikTok Shop. Affiliates on TikTok Shop is like salespeople, right? They get paid to sell your product. You can set different commission rates depending on what your profit margins are. Now, this isn't something that could be done in seven days. Unfortunately, this takes weeks. This is gonna take weeks of you actually creating content and seeing what's working organically before you start boosting and promoting it or even reaching out to affiliates. Now, that's honestly gonna be the end of the uh, seven days, right? The seven days is essentially gonna be about setting up your foundation, your branding, your website, your supply and logistics your outlet to sell and your marketing and ways to sell it. Now, if you guys enjoyed this type of content and you enjoyed this video, I highly encourage that you guys check out the Team Drop app, which we're gonna link in the description down below. We included a $10 coupon code, which means that your first sample order can be potentially free. In our case, it costs a little bit under $10 to get two glasses, which is pretty cool. So if you're looking at sampling something, make sure you check out the coupon code that we linked in the description below so you guys can get your first sample order. So I hope you guys enjoyed this information and if you wanna learn more and actually see a challenge where we built a brand in 14 days, check out this video here and download all your free resources in the description below. See you then.